A news alert tonight. President Joe Biden is taking action against gun violence in America. During a special press conference in the White House Rose Garden today, the president announced that he will sign several executive orders. One target, so-called ghost guns. The unregistered weapons are usually made at home. Today, the president also declared gun violence as an epidemic. Gun violence in this country is an epidemic, and it's an international embarrassment. Every day in this country, 316 people are shot every single day. 106 of them die. The White House will also invest about $5 billion in community violence intervention programs. Some local gun shop owners say these executive orders will change how they do business. Fox 35's Lara Greenberg joining us live tonight. So, Lara, how are these owners reacting? Yeah, well, Luann and Stephen, we were here at Volusia Tap Gun earlier today when the president was making his big announcement. We got immediate reaction from one of the managers here who says she's on board with some of the things the president says, but certainly not all of them. The idea that we have so many people dying every single day from gun violence in America is a blemish on our character as a nation. President Biden spoke to a small crowd at the White House today, but his remarks ricocheted across the country as he announced executive actions and legislative proposals on gun control. They include stopping certain braces that make some guns more accurate. We want to treat pistols modified with stabilizing braces with the seriousness they deserve. It's designed to go over the arm. It's not supposed to be shouldered. Monica Rogers, a manager at Volusia Top Gun in Daytona Beach, says there's only so much this kind of legislation can do. There are specific instructions. It's not supposed to be shouldered. Um, so the fact that people are going against guidance, that's an individual issue. The president also talked about implementing more red flag laws and closing loopholes that prevent background checks. But Rogers says laws like that and background checks are already in place here in Florida. She believes the president's proposals and actions are band-aids for a different problem. My frustration is that's a, sm a smaller side issue. It should be on fixing what's wrong with the people, not, not the tool they're using. The president addressed the need for more community violence intervention. And with that, Rogers agrees. Ultimately, it's the person committing the act, not the firearm. And the president also talked about implementing an annual report on gun trafficking and banning assault weapons and high-capacity magazines.